Hello everyone, I'm back in this week at the Cincinnati Nature Center with another lesson for you and your kiddos. This week is a super important lesson that's gonna stick with your kids for the rest of their lives. This week, it's all about poison ivy. Poison ivy actually has two different scientific names that it can go by. You have the old name, which is Roos radican, and you have the new name, which is more commonly accepted, that is Toxicodendron radicans. Toxicodendron literally means toxic leaves. But since Toxicodendron radicans and Roos radican can be quite a mouthful to say, we're going to simply refer to it as poison ivy, its common name. Today we're going to focus on three main things. What is poison ivy and how to identify it? What causes those obnoxious rashes? And how to prevent those rashes from spreading? Let's hit the trails and see what we can find. We've come across this tree here that has a bunch of poison ivy growing on it. I'm going to use this tree as my demonstration for you. One of the biggest telltale signs that what you're looking at is actually poison ivy is the compound leaves growing with three leaflets. This means that each leaf here has its own stalk, but all three leaves are coming from that same stem there that you can see. You can see it over here well too. Own stalk coming from the same stem. These leaves typically have a very glossy green appearance, but it's not uncommon for them to have a slight tinge of red. Poison ivy has the ability to grow in this vine form, like it is on this particular tree, by using its adventitious roots. Adventitious roots are roots that arise from the stem. So here we have the stem, and right here we have the adventitious roots that are coming off that stem. This allows for the poison ivy to grip the tree and grow up it. Poison ivy also has the ability to grow in a shrub form. Here's an example of it beginning to grow in that shrub form we just talked about. Poison ivy is just starting to kind of appear and bloom. So just be aware that it is in a shrub form here while it is in a vine form over here. Now that you know what you're looking for, let's talk about what actually causes those poison ivy rashes. There's an oil that can be found through the entire poison ivy plant called urushiol. Contrary to popular belief and what you may think you already know about poison ivy, urushiol does not just come from the leaves or the leaflets of the poison ivy plant. It literally comes from the leaves, the adventitious roots, the stem. It comes from any part of the poison ivy plant that you may come into contact with. It is so important that if you come into contact with poison ivy or what you believe is poison ivy, that you wash the infected areas with soap and water immediately. This will help prevent the spread of poison ivy. This also applies to whatever clothes you may have been wearing that day. Your shoes, your jacket, a hat, because if you get that urushiol oil on your jacket, for instance, and you wear your jacket another day, that oil is still going to be on that jacket and you're going to continue spreading the poison ivy. So by washing it immediately, you're getting rid of that oil and you're stopping that poison ivy from having the ability to spread. I'm gonna leave you all with this statement that I'm sure you've heard a thousand times and you'll probably hear it a thousand more, but when in doubt, leaves of three, let them be. Berries white, run in fright. Now, um, I'm gonna head on home and get all my clothes washed because I don't want poison ivy. I'll see you guys next week.